Bodhi is a Sanskrit word that translates into English as awakening. It's a word that really takes you into a space of pure awareness. Another word in Eastern philosophy for this is Nirvana. And Nirvana in, in Western traditions, we would call it a state of grace. And that's what the focus of Bodhi Yoga is. It's a yoga of awareness, increasing your awareness to how yoga can help you, both through your practice of it and the style of yoga itself. Our practice is just the same thing that the word yoga means. Yoga is a Sanskrit word that means literally to yoke, to yoke your mind, your body, your spirit, to work in the best ways possible. So I'm calmer, I handle stress differently when I experience a good yoga practice. When I feel centered in my spirit, my body's healthier and vice versa. So the word yoga itself means basically to bring everything together to work in balance. Bodhi yoga is a, both a style of yoga and a way you approach doing yoga itself. And the Bodhi Yoga Center, we focus on approaching postures from a place that gives you a deeper understanding and awareness of your mind, your body, and your spirit. When you practice Bodhi Yoga, it doesn't take long to realize that your approach to every movement is part of your practice. Here at the Bodhi Yoga Center, the transitions between the yoga poses are just as important as the yoga poses themselves. We focus on using our yoga to increase our awareness and understanding of the more deeper aspects of our practice through intrinsic movements and the whole way you use your breath and how that feels in your body. So the Bodhi Yoga style of practice is much less fragmented from one pose into the next. It's really an enlightened way to practice. Bodhi Yoga came out of my own practice in discovering what styles of yoga worked for me. I studied with eight or nine different yoga masters or teachers or gurus, depending on what you call them, um, from Rodney Yee to Richard Freeman, who's a, a wonderful yogi. Um, Guru Mukhal Khalsa gave me a wonderful Kundalini yoga influence. Saul David Ray helped me find my Thai partner yoga heart and my mentors, incredibly talented yogis, Ganga White and Tracy Rich, are where I chose to certify. But even with all my varied study with different places and different um, parts of the country, the most important teacher for me has been my own practice on my yoga mat, and that's where Bodhi Yoga has come from. Personally, I began my yoga practice out of desperation. I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and fibromyalgia at a fairly young age and had to find something that made my life bearable, really. And through my yoga practice of really breaking poses down from a place where my body was literally broken down and building them from there literally rebuilt my body. It did the same thing for my mind. You know, a lot of us go through life and we, um, you know, we have this set plan of the way we want things to be. But occasionally, some, mostly when you're young, you wonder, I wonder if anything special will ever happen in my life. You know, I wonder if anything extraordinary will happen for me to experience. And for me, yoga has been that thing. It's broadened my life and my horizons are totally shifted and changed. And the fibromyalgia symptoms are gone. You know, I don't experience that anymore. The RA symptoms are there as my teacher. So basically when I practice yoga, I'm practicing with an injury because with rheumatoid arthritis, one joint can be blown out one day. Um, your, it might be your ankle, it might be your shoulder. It's a, it's a disease that affects the joints and it moves around your body. So practicing yoga in a space where you're not as good as you'd like to be is the perfect way to practice yoga. And it applies to everybody, whether you're injured physically, emotionally, mentally, we're all there. We've all got something that we'd like to be better at. Yoga takes you back into a space where you have to back up, look at the reasons and your intention for practicing in the first place. If you just want a great workout, you can come and just get a great workout. If you want to go a little deeper and experience um, 
some emotional support and stability or spiritual centering, yoga will definitely help you with that. Um, as I integrated philosophies and ideas of not only different yoga modalities, but different teachers and personalities and their wonderful spirits that they brought to yoga, on my own mat, what comes through me is my practice and how yoga helps me on a very personal basis. And I have integrated that into my teaching. At the Bodhi Yoga Center, there are three primary styles of Bodhi Yoga that we offer. The first is the Bodhi Flow, and it's the evolution of yoga vinyasa. So it's a class where we move from posture to posture. We slow the postures down, so it's different than a power yoga class. Even though you're moving from posture to posture, our focus is not only on the asana itself, but on the transition and the intrinsic movement of the body. Anytime you slow something down, you make it accessible to beginners and more challenging to advanced people. People who might be seasoned in their yoga practice will still find the Bodhi Flow a really challenging class and they'll learn a lot about themselves and their practice. Because what we do is we take the intrinsic tightness in the core and we release our yoga postures from the core out. So you're strengthening and lengthening your body through your yoga movement. The movements are slow and they're steady and they're meditative. So you get the, um, the real treat of getting to use your full breath with your yoga postures. A lot of us mirror our breath to our movement because we've got to go from up dog to down dog to back to forth, jumping back, jumping forward, which is fun to do. And there's a, definitely a space for that. But in the, um, in the Bodhi Yoga flow, we slow it way down. So you take time to get your full inhale and you accentuate the edges of your postures. And it's a lovely feeling. It feels like a massage from the inside out, frankly. So the second class we offer is the Bodhi Yin Yoga Restorative. And this is a really yin yoga class. We work with relaxing into stretches. Most of it's done seated on the floor and it's fantastic. It's a really great space. So in restorative yoga, one of the great things about it is it really gives you time to drop back. A lot of times, especially if you have any autoimmune stuff going on or excessive depression, anxiety, stress like that, practicing a very deeply restorative practice is like it's your reset button. It allows you to drop back so your body can refold you into better health. I love it. I love practicing that way. I love teaching the classes and I love the students that are attending. Bodhi spin is a kundalini style yoga of practice from a Bodhi yoga approach. It is a blend of what I love about kundalini yoga with some traditional asanas and a lot of very lovely deep meditation. But the focus of kundalini yoga is more on the movement of the energy in my body. How, does, how can I move the energy up my spine, way up into the crown of my head? I'm going to refine it up there. And then the Bodhi Yoga approach is to bring that refined energy back down into your center. And it's a very challenging practice, um, uh, different breathing than traditional yoga, but I love it. I'd encourage you to give it a try. In addition to regular classes, there's Thai partner yoga therapy at the Bodhi Yoga Center. I'm in my Thai yoga office right now. It's one of my favorite spaces on the planet. Thai partner yoga, I like to call it the crown jewel of yoga. It's where I or one of the Thai partner yoga therapists that's associated with the center take two hours and we do a yoga practice on your body. So basically what I'm doing is I am moving your body through some rhythmic palming back and forth with my hands. There's assisted yoga stretches, there's acupressure, there's energy work. And a lot of times I can get your shoulders into a much deeper opening or you into a much deeper back bend when you relax and you just let me pull you into the pose. It's done on a, on a very unique mat on the floor and it's just wonderful. It's, um, it's really the most relaxed I've ever been in my life was after my first Thai partner yoga session. 